Hi, I'm Sandy McVeigh, and this is Microsoft Word 2010 Mail Merge Labels. So some people do struggle with labels, and the practice files that I'll be showing are available at my website, www.tinyurl.com slash smcvey. So I could start with one of these uh, Word documents, but I'm not going to just to show you how easy it is to start right from the very beginning. That's just for people who aren't in my class. Okay, so I'm just opening up a blank document here and I'll just resize it to fit into the window nicely so you can see it. Okay. So I've opened my Word document and I'm going to the Mailings tab. I'm going to start a mail merge and I'm going to choose Labels. Microsoft is making labels now but I tend not to use them. I'm familiar with the Avery sizing. You want to make sure that you choose Avery US letter, not the A4, A5. That's for in England. Uh, the most common size is the 5160. So if you click down in this window and type a 5, it'll at least drop you down into the right neighborhood. 5160 are the, the 30 labels to a sheet. They have many labels that are sized exactly the same, so if you can't find it, just take a look on the sizing over here and try and find the right one. And we'll click OK. So it looks like nothing's happened. But the Table Tools contextual tab came on. I'm going to click the Layout under Table Tools and click View Grid Lines. Now you'll see non-printing dotted lines and that just makes us feel more comfortable. So we'll go back to the Mailings and we'll select our recipients. Where's our database? We'll use an existing list and we'll use the same one that we've used in every tutorial, this little database. We'll choose the people sheet because you don't need to just use the first sheet in your workbook. We're going to put in an address block and it remembers what we used to match fields last time so we will just keep that. That's great. Alrighty. And this is where people get messed up. So now we see that Microsoft has added this extra white spacing between our paragraphs as part of their default and normally that's fine, but on a label we want to have at least the ability for five lines. So I'm going to select this little icon in the upper corner of our table to select it all. I'm going to go to the Home ribbon and format it just like I would any text. I'm going to come here to the Paragraph group and open the dialog box. So I'm going to have it be zero points before each paragraph. And the, the new setting is a multiple of 1.15. I'm just going to set it back to single spacing, single line spacing. At this point, if I want it, I could set this as a default for all of my documents, but I'll just say OK for now. And so you see that tightens that up and gives us plenty of room. We still only have uh, Jen here and not everyone else that's in our database getting a label. So let's talk about that. Here's one other thing that people may not know. If you open the dialog box in the font group, there's the ability to change it back to Times New Roman and 12 and set that for the default. So if you have documents set in the old style and you want your new documents to match, you can do that instead of changing it in every document. So now Jen looks pretty good, but the rest of the people in my database are not getting a label. So let's go back to mailings and I'm going to just click the preview results so you can see this says address block and the rest just say next record. When you're dealing with labels, it's very important that you click update labels and that rolls that address block field out to every cell. Now if I click preview, we see everybody in our database. So one other thing that is sometimes annoying is that this label is designed to print right on the edge of the label and it will often peel off the tops of your letters. So what I like to do is just change the margins for my entire template and save it one time as a template. 
So we are going to go to the page layout and we're going to go to margins. Click custom margins at the bottom and from the top I'm going to make it 0.65 and from the left I'll make it 0.3 and I have a complete handout on my website at www.tinyurl.com slash smcvay if you wanted to print this out. Notice when I click OK I get this pop-up that says it's going out of the printable region. Don't worry about that. Just click ignore. And this whole table shifted down and over just a little bit. So you will have it all land on your label as it should when you put it through the printer. Okay, And it's ready to go. So I hope that's helpful. Again, this is Sandy McVeigh with Microsoft Word Mail Merge Labels.